Hello everybody, my name is Lance Drake and today we'll be going over how to create a job and execute that job within data services. Once you log into to Designer, you're going to scroll over here to your local object library and from there I'm going to go ahead and select the jobs tab. Now you'll see here you have your batch jobs and you have your real-time jobs. You can select a new job from up here at the top underneath project, batch job, or you can go down here, right click on jobs, and select new. Today we're going to be creating a batch job. The difference between a batch job and a real-time job is the batch job is something that you schedule and you can call via web service. A real-time job is a job that you can only call via web service coming and, and outgoing messages. So I've already created my, my job here. Go ahead and open it up. And then from here you can create a workflow or a data flow. I'm going to go ahead and select a data flow because we're going to be pulling data from a source file that's already been created to a target database which obviously has already been created as, as well. I'm going to select on data flow. I'm going to put it in here. And then now I'm going to go ahead and call it whatever I'd like. Now my naming conventions typically are I like, I like to know what table I'm loading. So I'm going to go ahead and call it sales org underscore df for data flow. And then right away if you go over here to your data flows tab on your left hand side, you'll see that it showed up right there on inside your local object library. Double click on it to open it up. The actual where the extract, the transform and load is is going to happen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a, a flat file previously created, sales org. Pull it in here. And now I'm, I'm going to make it my source. Flat file can be a source or a target. Since this, since I'm going to be reading from, I'm going to make it my source. If I was going to be writing to, I obviously would make it my target. There's my source. And now I'm going to need to go over here to the right hand side and pick a query transform. This actually will be what pulls the data from the source file and puts it into the actual table. Go ahead and call it query map because we're just going to be mapping the columns over. I'm going to connect the two to let it know which flow it wants to go through. It's going to be going from left to the right. And right away you'll see all the columns available from my flat file format. You can drag one at a time over, or you can select multiple ones and drag them over all at once. Here you'll see this is the mapping. This is like your select statement. Here's your select. You can say I only want distinct records, your from clause, where it's coming from, any conditions inside your where clause, your any group buys or order buys, and then you have your advanced tab which allows you to tell it to spin up additional processes to handle some of the workload done by the distinct group buys, joins, or, or, or order buys. And then finally you actually have your, your, your find which will allow you to find certain instances within your source. And from there we're actually going to create a template table from the data store. Now over here on, on the data store you'll, you'll see I have previously created but to create a template table, I'm going to go over here to the right hand side, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to click inside the work area again, and now I'm going to name it. I'm going to go ahead and call it sales org, or dim sales org, because it's going to be a data warehouse. And I actually have the data store that I want to write it to, and then the owner. You, if there was more than one data store, you would see a whole list of data stores over there, but as you see inside my local, I only have one, so I only have one option. Then click OK, and right away it creates it as, as a target. Now, tables with inside a database can be either a source or a target, with the exception of template tables. Template tables can only be a target once. After that, it can only be a source. The reason being is because this is actually going to drop and recreate the table for me each time I, I run the job. You'll see here with inside some of the properties my options are to drop and recreate or if I want to I can actually just delete the data before loading it. This is important to, to point out because this is actually going to create a physical table on 
the database server. So even though it's it it's template inside data services and it has special attributes to it, it's still going to be a physical table on the actual database. From there, once I have it all mapped through, I can go ahead and validate all. This is going to go out and make sure that all the syntax is right and I have everything mapped. Of course, it doesn't check any business logic because that's going to be depicted upon your, your business and what rules they actually want, want to apply. So you'll see it says I have no errors found. Close out of here. And I go over here to my jobs tab. And now I can go ahead and run the job. So I'm going to go up here at the top and say execute. You can execute from there. It will ask you to save any changes. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And what that's going to do is that's going to compile everything that I've, I've currently saved and it's going to allow me to execute on it. Now here are some of your execution options. You can print all your trace messages. You can disable your data validation. You can collect additional stats. We're, we're just going to go ahead and leave everything default. You can add additional traces. You can change these options here at the bottom. If the job had global variables, you can change them. This one we did not. We'll go over. And then substitution parameters can be manipulated as well. Back to the executions tab, you'll see the job server, which, which is what's going to run the job on. It's a physical machine. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And right away, you'll start seeing some of the trace modules or trace logs that are happening, being being collected within data services. And the job here says it completed successfully. I'm going to go ahead and go to the monitor. I expect to have three records coming from the sales work file since it's a straight mapping. I expect to have three records coming through my QRY map. And since I'm loading into a template table or actual table, I expect to have three, three records there as well. I expect to have three because that's three coming from the source and we're just doing a straight mapping. So now I can go over here and actually I can actually view the data to make sure that it's right. I have three records. I go over here to the target table and you'll see that I have the exact same three records. And this is how you create a job in data services where you pull data from a source and write to a target.